Okay, so I am ready now to go see Julie now as well. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna put the video, the previous video, because I've, I've never like been sentimental on this channel or anything, and I don't know. But yeah, I feel a bit sad, obviously, about leaving Sejong, and more than that, actually, it's more than just leaving Sejong. It's a bit more than that. But anyway, I have to do this i'm in korea for a reason right now but for another reason which is travel around it and get to know more places and give you guys a lot of stuff to watch <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna keep a few things private still for respect for another person right now so anyway let's go oh my gosh my back <laughs> let's get going you know what my little thing is kind of cool though here it's right now. So, cool. let's go. so let's clarify what I meant in the previous video actually in the previous clip I actually was a bit sad to leave Sejong behind Sejong was a city that I loved I was not expecting to love Sejong as much as I did while I did have friends in Sejong, it was mainly about the people in Sejong, the way that I felt welcomed by a lot of people there, restaurant owners and people on the streets, everybody was just lovely. The atmosphere, either in Sejong and Joshiwan, it was something different. And that is the reason why Sejong actually holds a place in my heart because of the city itself the atmosphere and the people there that made me feel welcome so i'm hoping to get back there and very soon hopefully but that is why i was feeling so sentimental so i just wanted to clarify that so now let's get back to the vlog
Unless you're really good at saying what you mean Suppress my feelings cause I know what's best for me Feel short of confidence, my hands begin Oh